What we like to do is think of the components of a cell as being composed of mechanical devices, including motors and filaments and uh, things that get produced and built and things that get broken down. All these things happen inside a cell as it goes about its daily business. If we can understand what are the key mechanical actions inside a cell uh, that cause it to move or that, that uh, you know, maybe you have a motor that's overactive, uh, then you can go in and disrupt this. And so it's giving us new targets for drugs. That's how mechanical engineering comes in and uh, starts solving problems in biological engineering. My lab is an experimental lab where we have a number of tools that are key for measuring proteins at the single molecule level. These tools include optical tweezers and single molecule fluorescence. And what we've done is we've developed instrumentation which combines these two into one microscope. One of the key interactions that we're interested in is actin filaments. We are creating structures that are mimicking what's going on inside a cell. And we can control the environment very precisely. And use these tools that are applying forces and measuring the biomechanics of filaments and also reporting on the structures using fluorescence. Another aspect is that we have mathematical tools to go in and model structures, model them as being composed of thousands of springs and dash pots and levers and they're wonderful for modeling structures inside cells. One direction that manufacturing is going is, is uh, to, to go smaller and smaller, and this is what we call nanotechnology. Um, and really, biology has tremendous nanotechnology going on right in front of our eyes. When we look at a cell, uh, we see structures that can copy themselves with very, very low error rates. Uh, we see structures that can move. Uh, we see specific binding that occurs. So one thing that mechanical engineering is looking towards biology is to understand how these structures work and, and think of them a, in terms of nanotechnology because it's really presenting a wonderful framework for us to move into, into this area.